Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Madam Rosmaya. Subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my video. The topic that we are going to discuss today is about the optical path length. Optical path length. So what is optical path length? Optical path length is equal to ND. N is the refractive index of a medium. ND is distance traveled by the light in the medium. So optical path length is different from the normal length we use to measure using ruler. Let's say we use a, a ruler to measure the length of a table and we get 2 meter. So it is based on the uh, 1 meter uh, rule. Okay? 1 meter ru ruler. But uh, optical path length uh, is the measurement based on the wavelength. Okay. By referring to this animation, okay, so the imagine the light travel from uh from air to the medium, okay, this medium. So what happened to the wavelength here? So compare the motion of light waves through a medium and in vacuum. Okay, refer to the two D diagram here. So this is uh the wavelength of the light uh travel from the in the vacuum then through the medium then out of the uh, back to vacuum okay let's say the refractive index of the medium is uh, n eh? uh, and and the refractive index must be larger than one because uh, refractive index of the vacuum is equals to one and let's say the length eh, of the medium is d eh? Okay, compare uh, the motion uh, in terms of wavelength and the frequency. So, refer to the wavelength here. Okay, uh, when light travels in a medium, its wavelength is shorter than in vacuum. Whereas, its frequency uh, remains unchanged because uh, it comes from the same source. Okay, the same source of light. So, the frequency remains unchanged but the wavelength is shorter than in the vacuum, eh? Com uh, in the medium, uh, compared in the vacuum. Okay, so from the uh, formula V equals to F lambda, okay? so the when the light uh, travels through a medium, so the speed uh, becomes less. Okay, when the speed becomes less, the wavelength also becomes less. Okay? F is constant. Okay, now uh, count the number of wavelengths in the medium of the distance uh, D here yeah, and in the distance ND in the vacuum. Okay, so this optical path length ND in the vacuum. So this is D distance in the medium. So if we count, uh, in this example, we have 5 complete wavelengths in the medium and also 5 complete wavelengths eh, in the uh, vacuum. So, there are 5 complete wavelengths in both. So, a distance D in the medium of refractive index N contains the same number of wavelengths as in a length of ND in vacuum. Okay, this is what is meant by optical path length. Okay, from uh, S equals to VT, okay, uh, distance equals to speed uh, times time. So, if the velocity of the uh, light uh, become less when travel in the medium, eh, from vacuum to medium, so the speed become less, so the distance eh, uh, becomes less, eh, compare D and ND. So, D less is less uh, than the ND, eh? but the time taken eh, is constant. So, if light travels a geometrical distance d in the medium of refractive index n, then in the same time, it would travel a distance nd in the vacuum. Okay, so the time taken for both is the same t. So, uh, what is uh, optical path length? So, optical path length for a distance d in the medium is equal to nd. Okay, so now uh, let's try one question. The distance between two points x and y is L. A glass block of length x, 
where x is less than L, is placed between the points x and y. Derive the expression for the change in the optical path. Refractive index of glass is given as N. Okay, so uh, what is change in optical path? So the word change in optical path means the final optical path minus the initial optical path. So distance between two points x and y is L. Okay, so in air between x and y is air. So this is initial. And final, uh, when we put a block here between x and y, okay, so the block uh, has uh, length L, uh, x, eh? x, which is x less than L. So this is the final. So for initial optical path from the equation just now, ND, so air is uh, 1, for a refractive index for air is 1, and the D distance here is L. Okay. So the optical path is uh, 1 times L is L. Okay, for final optical path, when we put a glass block in between X and Y, so the optical path uh, we can divide into uh, two parts, eh? the air and the glass. Okay, so we can write as uh, formula is ND, so ND in um, glass plus uh, ND in the block, there are two parts here, ND2 and ND3. Okay. So for the glass, uh, the length is x. So the equations, uh, the, we substitute uh, n, uh, refractive index of the glass n here, okay, into here, so becomes nx. Okay, distance is x, so nx plus, okay, both side, the length is l minus x, okay, l minus x. So l minus x times uh, 1, eh. 1 is uh, refractive index of the air, so n a 1, 1 times l minus x is l minus x. Okay, so we can factor out x in bracket becomes n minus 1 and don't forget here plus l. So now we have two optical path, final and initial. Back to this one, uh, the change in optical path is op final optical path minus uh, initial optical path. So we substitute into here. So this is final optical path okay, minus uh, initial optical path. Okay, so L minus L is 0. So the answer becomes N minus 1 uh, X. So this is the answer. Okay, the change in the optical path. Okay, that's all for the video. Okay, hope that you can uh, understand. And see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.